I was invited hill walking when I was about 14. That for me was how it started. What drives me? I, I don't know. I like the challenge. I like to push myself. I like to live every day to the best possible and give something back. I think to be able to achieve something like Everest, you have to give 100%. It has to be your full-time job because Everest is no playground. It's for serious mountaineers in a serious environment that has to be respected. People think that because I get to go hill walking all the time, my life's adventurous, but I don't necessarily enjoy being out in the cold and the rain and the dark because I'm not doing it because I want to, I'm doing it because I have to. But that's the commitment you have to do for Everest, that's what it takes. When you get to the point where you've come so far, it's easy to carry on and it is to give up. You know, and that the greatest things, you know, don't come easily. I think the final steps towards the summit will be, I think I'm just going to cry and cry and I will have no shame to finally get there. That's why I've been doing what I've been doing and suffering so much and just getting myself back up again time and time again. I think about that every day. I think about Everest every day anyway, but that moment, I can picture it. And I know it won't be how I picture it, but it's just, to be able to do that is just worth it for me.